Okay, this is your uh, pretty much standard oil nozzle. This one's a Delavan. Delavan and Monarch uh, and some Danfoss are what we see in the field. I'm going to disassemble this thing and we can see if we can figure out uh, how it works. Okay, here we're showing it with the filter removed. Now, that filter is a what we call a centered bronze filter which means it's uh, little chunks of bronze all stuck back together it tends to keep uh, small particles from getting through into the nozzle so we'll take a little closer look at that thing okay that's just a little closer look at this thing so you can perhaps see what that stuff looks like uh, this is probably the most common for the smaller nozzles to use this centered bronze thing and it does not guarantee that there will not be uh, blockages in the filter okay here I've taken everything out and you can see the hole in this thing uh, the hole, of course, is commensurate with the actual size of the gallonage of the nozzle, but it's a pretty small hole. This is the rest of the nozzle. Uh, this part here holds in this part. This part is what actually makes this thing work. It, uh, see it's got those little slots in the side. I think there's three of them. You know, it's a little bitty thing, so it's kind of hard to move around. And oil comes out around the slots and uh, sort of swirls in there. And it isn't just a hole. The hole you saw on the, the nozzle itself, this is actually squirting oil in these little passages. Well, the biggest problem here is all these things are really tiny. Because I've got this thing magnified up quite a ways. Okay. They kind of swirl that oil into the center and they're shooting it at an angle. So it actually goes into the hole of the nozzle pointed different directions and it sort of swirls its way out so as it comes out of there it kind of it's kind of like a, uh, a hose if you were to uh, twirl the hose around with water coming out of it the water kind of goes out in a swirl that's uh, essentially what that thing does and these things are extremely precision, precision made uh, I'm amazed you can buy these things for I don't know four or five bucks uh, they need to be changed every time you take the gun out. Now the gun assembly, when you remove that, and it's at the end of the, this thing is at the end of that gun assembly. When you take that gun assembly out and clean it, you put a new nozzle in. And you never ever touch any part of the nozzle that is inside. Okay. This is what those little swirl slots look like from the end. Uh, this, the hole in the nozzle is uh, right there where this thing tapers in. And that's where those swirls come from. Now here again we've got the uh, centered bronze portion of this nozzle. This part should never be touched. When you put the uh, nozzle in, you uh, use the, the tube that it came in to just kind of insert it. Um, and I'll show you one of the tubes here in a sec. Uh, okay, here's the uh, nozzle again. Uh, this is a used nozzle. And if you were placing this in a burner, this part, you would never put your fingers here. Okay, here's a nozzle and there's a nozzle uh, container right next to it. And you can see it says 1.00, that's the number of gallons per hour. 
80 degree, which is the angle of the spray, and A, which is a semi-solid spray. Uh, I'll show you where these parts are, or where these uh, numbers are on the nozzle here in just a moment. Okay, I've cleaned off this nozzle, and you can see on one part of the flat it says 1.00, that's one gallon per hour. And if you go around, and you'll find another spot in this thing, that it says the angle of spray, and it's 80 degrees, and... Uh, whether it's an A, a W, or what, that's a semi-solid, the A is a semi-solid. Uh, replace like for like. If you change the uh, angle of the spray, you could be impacting the side of the uh, combustion chamber or the burner head. Uh, the gallonage, you don't want to go uh, higher certainly on gallonage, gallonage we very seldom go higher uh, you might go lower um, but you're gonna have to adjust to compensate for it and the uh, the semi-solid pattern that this one has is pretty common for the area I'm in but uh, and I will uh, do another video on uh, all the different nozzles but uh, for the time being just replace everything like for like and you won't get in trouble okay if I was gonna put this nozzle in I would take the cap off and I would put it in just like this never touching it never touch that uh, uh, centered bronze part don't even take it out of the uh, container just put that right into the gun that's how I do it do not touch that it's too it's too easy to get it contaminated and they'll plug up really easy and that is the oil burner nozzle